Cobra Red Dot. Is it one of the worst Red Dots ever? Let's take a look. This one is an IZH Axion model, made in Russia. We'll get a good close look at it and see what's what. Controls are all here. This is the on-off switch. This is off. This is on. Do not leave it on. It will drain the batteries and they will leak inside the unit. You will get to clean corrosion off the terminals. This is brightness settings. During daytime in wooded areas, I'm running it on full brightness. If it were sandy or snowy or something, this dot would be really hard to see. I wish it would go brighter. You can turn it down into night vision mode. It is somewhat night vision compatible. This is your switch to select between your four reticles. Good one. This is the red dot. Whatever that is. Chevron with a dot. Chevron. Dot. Just put it on dot. Leave it on dot. The rest are all various flavors of garbage. These adjustment caps can and will bounce up under recoil and block your field of view. Not super handy. The unit is held together by these flathead mystery metal fasteners. The Russians seem to really like these. They're all over the place. You've got this anti-reflection rubber hood, which is held on by two little tabs up here. One of them is broken. Mine still kind of hangs on. And again, you got some little mystery metal flathead screws in the bottom of that. Right here is where you'd uh, pull the batteries out, which again, I don't like to store this with the batteries in it. It will drain them and they'll leak and then you have other problems. Mounting a standard AK side mount, which is kind of funny. You got uh, a lot of flex in the system. You can see just a little bit of pressure and the whole thing moves. At the end of the day, you're riveted into a sheet metal receiver, so it's not a terribly stiff thing. I kinda... The unit comes with this little tool that you can use to reset your turrets after you get your zero. I don't do that. I just zero by spinning the knobs and then forget about it. There's no case in which I'm going to be adjusting windage or elevation on the fly. And these things, again, open up very, very easily. It also comes with this little pouch and an owner's manual that has been translated more or less into English. It's a little rough, but, but pretty useful, kind of, if you're trying to use these things, which, again, I don't use. And the cool part is, at the end of it, it's signed off by some dude in Russia, and you got a nice stamp on it. So that's kind of neat. At the end of the day, it's a pretty big optic. It's got some useless features and less than optimal brightness. The mounting system's a little bit sketchy, and it's just a big footprint for what it does. You compare that to something modern from the West, like an SRO that has basically the same window size, and the Cobra just kind of falls short. It's really big for doing basically the same thing that this little guy does. So is it one of the worst red dots ever? Maybe. Uh, it's probably not one of the best.